Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got some pretty exciting news. So, courtesy of everybody's favourite Halo Infinite news providers, the one and only Mega Constructs of course, we have five new Halo Infinite soundtrack pieces and they sound incredible. Shout out to Real IH Sevi on Twitter for finding these. I guess we know what IH Sevi's been up to since Escalation now. They were released slash leaked, I think just released to be honest with you, as a part of official Mega Construct set trailers, as you can see on the screen right now. Some of these tracks are totally new, others you've seen in demos and trailers before, but they just all sound so damn good. So I'll stop talking and roll the music. So that sounded a bit like music that would play in the build-up to combat. Now, they mentioned in one of the Inside Infinites how adaptive the music is in Infinite, with the player being able to approach engagements in so many different ways, and this sounds like an example of that. During the gameplay demo last year, a slightly different version of a bit of this track even plays, but then it trails off into another track, which I think is even further evidence of this. Again, this sounds like another really, really good combat track. This one is from Discover Hope, and it sounds incredibly combat evolved, like down to a T. It sounds really similar to Brothers in Arms, but like a new version of it, like a sort of remake of Brothers in Arms. This one is from the July 2020 demo, when Chief leaves the Pelican, this track plays, and honestly, I think this track works really well as, like, inspirational music before an encounter. I, I really like this piece. This one sounds like more of an emotional track that then leads into something more bombastic. Now, with how adaptive the music is said to be in this game, maybe the first half of the track is one of those really somber tracks that they mentioned, like Heavy Price Paid kind of, but then it leads into something more bombastic at the end, 
when you go into like a combat section or something. To me, it definitely sounds like it. There was also one more trailer as well that had some pretty good music in it, but it turned out the music actually wasn't from Halo. It was a royalty-free track. People thought that it was like Escher and boss fight music or something, but nah, it's just royalty-free music, so don't look into it. And that's the music. I hope you guys liked it. I personally absolutely loved it, and I really hope we get more revealed soon. Speaking of reveals soon, it's looking like on June 13th, we're going to get the Halo Infinite multiplayer reveal. You've all probably seen this already. I put something on the community tab the other day, um, but this picture here is looking to be a massive tease of an infinite multiplayer reveal. Now, of course, I'm going to be streaming this live on my channel right here at 10 a.m. PT, 1 p.m. ET and 6 p.m. BST in the UK on June 13th, so don't miss it. I am just going to do a very brief breakdown of this picture right here because there's some cool details in here. You've probably all already seen this, but I just feel like it. Front and center, we have a Mark 7 helmet with a CNM or hull attachment from Reach on the side of the helmet. Gunganeer shoulders and holding a red MA40 with what looks to be quite a cool little MA40 logo on it. Then in the back, we have a Spartan wearing Emil's EVAC with a Kukri on the left security shoulder this time instead of the right shoulder, like in Reach, holding what looks to be a Bulldog. Then in the back, you can see some pelicans off in the distance. Now, this to me looks like a hint at that BTB 2.0 thing that had pelican drops or whatever. So I mean, it could just be a pelican, but this looks like a very subtle hint towards that. Then we've got Carter's commando helmet with CBRN pipes, Gunganeer shoulders again, June's tactical patrol ghillie chest, which I absolutely love. That was my go-to in reach, holding what looks to be a sidekick with a silver and black skin. And I've got to say, this sidekick redesign with the undermounted laser, I actually love it now. I couldn't stand the sidekick last year. I thought it looked so boring and dull, but it's, it's amazing what just adding an undermounted laser does. I'm getting some serious SOCOM vibes from this bad boy. The MGS fan inside me is screaming. And finally, we have a Spartan wearing June scout helmet from Reach with sniper shoulders, again from Reach, holding a stalker rifle, which looks really, really cool. I do find the amount of emphasis put on Reach with Infinite really interesting though. Like, we've got the MA40, which is, for all intents and purposes, literally just an MA37. We've got all of this Reach armor. We've got Shadows of Reach. There's a very clear emphasis being put on Reach nostalgia with this game. I would assume that's because there's a lot of people who are still around in Halo whose first Halo game was Reach. And so they have like a, like the attachment that we have to like Halo 3 or Halo 2, they have to Halo Reach, for example. I mean, I've got friends in real life who are like that. So I assume that's why. But it's, it's just rather interesting seeing the amount of Reach like assets and Reach nostalgia and Reach throwbacks in this game. But I'm not against it. All in all, though, this picture has absolutely got to be a teaser for an infinite multiplayer reveal. I would be shocked if not. Fingers crossed. That also means that flighting is launching very soon as well. My, my fingers are crossed so hard they're snapping. <laughs> okay, one final thing before I end this short and completely all over the place video. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm taking part in a 24-hour Halo charity stream for motor neuron disease hosted by Ultimate Halo's Fletch. His dad was recently diagnosed with motor neuron disease. So me, Ubernick, Taquin, Fletch, Nade God, Lady Echidna, Oath, Real Life Spartan, and I Spiteful have all gone together and we're gonna do a 24 hour Halo live stream to raise as much money as possible for a motor neuron disease charity. My time slot for this stream is 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. UK time tomorrow night. So that's Saturday, May 29th. So go and follow my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash hiddenxperia. And make sure you stop by for a little bit and donate if you can do. Of course, all proceeds are going to be going to charity. And if we hit our max donation goal, well, I'm going to be dyeing my hair black. So if you want to see Emo Xperia, make sure you donate some money. <laughs> I can assure you it'll be worth it. So as a famous band once said, so long, good night. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.